University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Last time we saw Emmanuel College Cambridge win the first of the eight places in the quarterfinal stage of this competition. Whichever team wins tonight will join them. The losers will be able only to dream of what might have been. Now, the last time we saw Hartford College, Oxford, they beat the University of Exeter by 215 points to 165 in the second of the losers' playoffs, having lost their first round match by a mere 10 points. Their strengths have included the paintings of Manet, the periodic table, and South American capitals. They have an average age of 21. Let's meet them for the third time. Hi, I'm Steffi Rogate. I'm from South London and I'm studying biology. Hi, I'm Pat Taylor. I'm from Warwick and I'm studying physics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Richard Tudor. I'm from Stavridge in the West Midlands and I'm reading history. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm from Orpington in South London and I'm studying English Lit. Now, the team from Manchester University had rather a struggle on their hands in their first round match, leading against the University of East London until the halfway mark and then losing the lead, only recovering their form in the final moments when their knowledge of biochemistry, the names of elements and the rivers of Spain secured them a win by a margin of 155 points to 135. With an average age of 26, let's meet the Manchester team again. Hi, I'm Alex Antal. I'm from Chinkford. I live in Glossop and I'm studying for a PhD in mathematical logic. Hi, my name's George Lynott. I'm originally from Burnley and I'm studying for a PhD in Applied Maths. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm James Ross. I'm from Coventry and I'm studying for a Master's in Classics and Ancient History. Hello, I'm Joe Hanson. I'm from Gravesend in Kent and I'm studying for a PhD in Data Intensive Science. <laughs> OK, you all know the rules. Let's just get on with it. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. What six-letter word links a French television adaptation of The Office and, in North America, a chest of drawers, a subsidiary office of a newspaper or a government agency? For example... Hartford Tudor. Bureau. Bureau is right, yes. <laughs> Some people found that question difficult, you know. There's no need to look so dismissive. <laughs> <laughs> Here are your bonuses, then, Hartford College. They're on unbuilt cities, depicting various aspects of a highly mechanised city. Antonio Santelli's Citta Nuova sketches are examples of which movement in art and architecture? They were displayed at its first exhibition in Milan in 1914. Futurism. Futurism. Yeah. Yeah, futurism. Correct. In the 1960s, which US architect developed designs as yet unrealised for Triton City, a floating utopia on a tetrahedral plan Intended to be anchored in Tokyo Bay. Bookminster Fuller. Or... Yeah. Bookminster Fuller, yeah. Uh, Bookminster Fuller. Correct. And finally, described by the critic Robert Hughes as an endless repetition of one crushing unit, the Radiant City is an unrealised urban plan first presented in 1924 by which European architect? Le Corbusier. Le Corbusier. Le Corbusier. Uh, Le Corbusier. Correct. Ten points for this. Give the single word that completes this aphorism attributed to various philosophers, including Roger Bacon and Francis Bacon. Half of science is putting forth the right what? Hartford Page. Questions? Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on books of the Old Testament using the King James Bible. Which book of the Old Testament refers in its first verse to a man in the land of Uz describing him as perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil? Daniel? No, it was Job. Which book begins with these lines? In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. Oh, when, when are they? It's that first king. No, it's early, isn't it? When the, the, the Babylonians come in, like, I don't know. I think it might be first kings, but... OK. Yeah, can sure you go for that? Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first kings? No, that was Daniel. Oh. And finally, a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. 
Those words appear in the first chapter of which book? Isaiah. Isaiah, yeah. yeah. Isaiah? No, that's Proverbs. Oh. Ten <laughs> points for this. From the early 1940s until their deaths, which capital city was the home of the expatriate surrealists Catty Orner, Remedios Varo and Leonora ah, Carrington? Manchester Hanson. Mexico City? Correct. <laughs> so your first bonuses uh, are in the form of pairs of letters. I want you to give me the, both the chemical element of which they're the symbol and the US state of which they're the postal abbreviation. So CA would give calcium and California. OK? Yep. First, M and N. Minnesota. Yep. And manganese. manganese. Manganese and Minnesota. Correct. Secondly, M and O. Molybdenum and Missouri. Molybdenum and Missouri. Correct. And finally, CO. Cobalt and, and Colorado. Cobalt and Colorado. Correct. <laughs> Right, ten points for this. In 1950, the US astronomer Fred Whipple first hypothesised that what astronomical bodies had a nucleus made of dust, frozen water, ammonia, methane and... Hartford Page. Comets. Correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on shades of green, as described in the Oxford English Dictionary. Firstly, which shade is first sighted in 1791 as a fashionable colour, along with... Coquelicot. It is named after an edible nut often used in the Italian dessert spumoni. Pistachio. 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 Correct. Yeah. First cited in reference to a colour in 1884, what word for a shade of apple green takes its name from a liqueur produced by monks in the French Alps? Absinthe. 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 Yeah, I mean, just... uh, absinthe? Uh, no, that's chartreuse. First sighted in 1936, which intense pure shade of green is said to come from a common Irish surname, born, for example, by the star of the 1952 film Singing in the Rain? Kelly. Kelly. Kelly Green is correct, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture out. For your picture starter, you'll see a world map in which the size of each country is directly proportional to the number of kilowatt hours of electricity generated from a major fuel source. Ten points if you can work out which fuel it is. Hartford Tudor. Oil. Anyone want to buzz from uh, Manchester? Manchester and tar. Yes. No, it's coal. So uh, we'll take the picture bonuses in a moment or two, and in the meantime, here's a starter question. Part of his 1896 collection, Woodland Sketches, the piece to a wild rose is a popular piano composition. Uh, Manchester Ross. McDowell. McDowell is correct, yes. <laughs> so you get the picture bonuses. There are three more cartograms where country size is proportional to the use of a particular energy source, and you need to identify that energy source for the points. Note that the colours on the map are just to demarcate each territory. Firstly... Well, um, France uses loads of nuclear. nuclear, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. Nuclear? Nuclear is correct, and France was the clue because it's the largest source of electricity in France. Secondly, I need a specific form of power here. Scandinavia, hydroelectric. Hydroelectric. That is correct. This province of Scandinavia, of course, is the giveaway there. And finally... Solar power, I think. Portugal is quite a big... Yeah. It's bigger. So, not that size, yeah. uh, solar. No, it's oil. Oh. Middle East is the clue there. Right, ten points for this. Indicated by the letter E in the acronym MOGREPS, what name is given to the method by which a series of possible weather conditions is generated by computer simulation using different initial parameter values to generate probability-based weather forecasts? Manchester Hanson. Environmental. No, anyone like to buzz from Hartford? Hartford Tudor. Energy. No, it's ensemble forecasting. Ten points for this. More common as a surname, what patronymic links the 20th century British composer of Punch and Judy and the Triumph of Time, one of the last two astronauts to have walked on the moon, and the US actor whose roles include John Book in Witness and Rick Deckard in... Hartford Page. Ford. Harris. No, you lose five points in Blade Runner. Manchester Ross. Harrison. Harrison is correct, yes. 
to win third whistle, Schmidt and Ford. So you get the bonuses, Manchester, there on Queens of France. The consort of both Charles VIII and Louis XII, Queen Anne bears the byname of which duchy whose autonomy within France she strove to protect? Um, Burgundy. Could be, could be Carlo. Guess Burgundy. Right? Burgundy. No, it's Brittany. Secondly, the mother of three kings of France, which queen has traditionally been implicated in the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre of 1572? Uh, yeah, Catherine de Medici. Correct. Jean d'Albret was a leading figure of the French Huguenots and the mother of which monarch I need his name and his regnal number as king of France? Maybe Louis XIV. Yeah, I know. Louis XIV. No, it's Henry IV. Oh. <clears throat> Ten points for this. Kanchenjunga. The world's third highest mountain is located on the borders of Nepal and which Indian state? Bordered by China, Bhutan and West Bengal, it's a former kingdom that merged with India in 1975. Manchester and Tal. Assam. Anyone like to buzz from Hartford? Hartford Page. Um, Kashmir. No, it's Sikkim. Ten points for this. The Frenchman Charles Nicol received the 1928 Nobel Prize in Medicine for his work on which infectious disease caused by rickettsia bacteria, also known as jail fever, it is commonly spread by infected lice or ticks? Manchester and Tal. Lyme disease. No. Anyone want to buzz from Hartford? Hartford Woodgate. Plague. No, it's typhus. Ten points for this. After a town in Kent, what was the title of the 18th century Earl John Montague? He sponsored the expedition during which James Cook landed on the island of Kauai in 1778. Hartford Page. Sandwich. Sandwich is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the capitals of Chinese provinces. Each answer is a short place name element, such as Bei or Jing. You can spell your answer if you're unsure of the pronunciation. Meaning south. What place name element links the capitals of Shandong and Jiangsu provinces? Is it Nanjing is southern capital? Just so it must be no. Nan. Nan. No. Okay. Uh, Nan? Yes. Meaning prefecture, what place name element appears in the names of the capitals of Gansu, Fujian, and Guangdong? Uh, nominate Taylor. Uh, H E I. No, Joe. Z H O U. And finally, meaning C. What place name element links an island province of South China with a major city close to the mouth of the Yangtze? Is it Shanghai. Shanghai. Is it? Is it? H A N. Uh, H A N. No, it's H A I. Right, 10 points for this. In cell biology, what two word term denotes the process by which cells stop proliferating once they have formed a monolayer in a culture dish? Hartford Woodgate. Cell apoptosis. No. Manchester, one of you, Buzz? Manchester and Tal. Incubation period. No, it's contact inhibition. Ten points for this. What are the only two consonants in the names of the founder of the Mughal Empire, a soft, ripened French cheese made, for example, in Meux, and a fictional elephant created by Jean de Brunoff? Manchester and Tal. B and R. Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on sugars, Manchester. Named after a US chemist born in 1884, which reagent containing copper 2 sulfate forms a red or orange precipitate to indicate the presence of reducing sugars in the solution? I think it's Benedict's. That sounds right to me. Benedict's. Yeah. yeah Benedict's. Benedict's reagent solution is correct, yes. What general name is given to the enzymes present in human saliva and pancreatic fluid that act as catalysts in the hydrolysis of starch into sugars? I think it's Amylase. Amylase. Correct. And finally, which disaccharide is formed by the condensation of the monosaccharides glucose and fructose? Sucrose. Sucrose. Sucrose is correct. We're going to take 
a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. For ten points, give me the name of its composer. Hartford Tudor. Uh, Copeland. Anyone like to buzz from Manchester? You can hear a little more. Manchester Antal. Gustav Holst. No, it's Stravinsky. It's part of the Firebird Swede, so we'll take the music bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points for this. What condiment links the site of a battle during the Irish Rebellion of 1798 and the nickname of the US General Joseph Stilwell? Manchester Lynott. Mustard. No. Oh. You lose five points. Not for you can hear a little more if you want. Well, no, I, don't. If, I mean, if you're offering, then... The <laughs> condiment in question is a dilute solution of ethanoic acid. Vinegar. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right, you get the uh, music bonuses then. The autographed score of the Firebird was the first of many gifts Stravinsky gave to his longtime mentor, Nadia Boulanger. Your music bonuses are three more works written by Nadia Boulanger's students. Five points for each composer you can identify. Firstly... Oh, this is... That's Copeland. That's Copeland. Yeah, that's Copeland. That's Copeland. That's Copeland. Copeland is correct. Rodeo for dance tunes. And secondly... That might be Steve Reich. It's yeah. Steve Reich. Yeah. Steve Reich. Right, that's Philip Glass, music in 12 parts. And finally, the composer of this film score. Uh, Bernstein? No, yeah, that's Quincy Jones, so with the scores on level pegging, here's ten points at stake. Appearing in the fourth line of verse, what is the first proper name in Milton's Paradise Lost? The place in question is one of the main locations of the work. Hartford Tudor. Hell. Nope. Uh, Manchester and Tal. Utopia. No, it's the Garden of Eden. Ten points for this. Distinguished by orange or scarlet edible flowers, which plant takes its name from Latin words meaning nose twister, a reference to its pungent flavour? Hartford Tudor. Rhododendron. No. One of you buzz from Manchester? I'll tell you it's nasturtium. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. What is the decimal equivalent of the answer to the hexadecimal equation C multiplied by E? Manchester Lynott. 15? No. Hartford, one of you buzz? Hartford Taylor. 131. No, it's 168. Ten points for this. With which ancient religion is the Eastern Iranian language Avistan associated? Manchester Antal. Um, Zoroastrianism. That's correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on immortality in Shakespeare's tragedies. Oh, I have lost my reputation, I have lost the immortal part of myself, and what remains is bestial. In which of Shakespeare's plays does the soldier Cassio say those words? No. Othello. Correct. If thou beest not immortal, look about you. Security gives way to conspiracy. In which play by Shakespeare does the sophist Artemidorus say those words? Sophist. Pericles? Yeah. Pericles? No, it's Julius Caesar. And finally, which of Shakespeare's title characters says that carrion flies may steal immortal blessing from his lover's lips, an act which he himself is unable to do? Maybe. Romeo. Romeo is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Prasutagus was the husband of which figure ah. in the... Manchester Ross. Boudicca. Boudicca is correct, yes. Okay. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on scales and measures. Born in 1850, which Italian vulcanologist gave his name to the scale still used today in a modified form which measures the level of damage caused by an earthquake? Sorry? I don't think so. 
Any ideas? I've heard of it, but I can't remember. No, sorry, we don't know. Mm. It's McCallie. The Palermo and Torino scales indicate the degree of potential threat from what form of hazard? It's, uh, it's like like a, no, no, a it's a tornado, tornado, it? no, isn't it? Like an asteroid or something? I don't think so. I think it's like in a tornado. I think. I hope. Clemson, Sicily, and the Retina. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to overrule you. Uh, oh, asteroid. Okay. Correct or meteorite <laughs> or uh, NEO impact. And finally, the GCS is a neurological state that assesses the depth and duration of a state of coma or impaired consciousness. After which British city is it named? GCS, was it? Mm. GCS. Mm. Yeah. So, um, oh, oh uh, Glasgow. Glasgow is correct, Glasgow. yes. Glasgow. <laughs> right, we're going to take another picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a painting. For ten points, simply tell me the name of the artist. Manchester and Tar. Goya. Goya is right. <laughs> Following Goya's self-portrait, your picture bonuses are three more paintings of the artist at work. Five points for each artist you can name. Firstly... Um, Modigliani? I thought Modigliani. Yeah, Modigliani okay. makes sense. Okay. Uh, Modigliani? That's correct. Secondly... Um, um, Gentileschi? <laughs> no, oh, Artemisia Gentileschi, it could be. Yeah. Gentileschi? No, it's Angelica Kaufman. And finally... Oh, um, is it Toulouse-Lautrec, maybe? Yeah, it does look like him. Uh, like Toulouse-Lautrec? No, it's Rousseau painting his wife. Right. Ten points for this. What is the title of the planned trilogy of novels, the first of which was published in 2017, with the title La Belle Sauvage? Hartford Page. The Book of Dust. Correct. Your bonuses this time are on literature. The medical students Bob Sawyer and Benjamin Allen and the magistrate Mr Nupkins all appear in which novel by Charles Dickens? Mm -hmm. Medical students. Mm -hmm. Dombey and Son. Yeah. Dombey and Son. No, it's the Pickwick Papers. Mm -hmm. Concerned with the search for the correspondence of an eponymous poet, the Ashburn Papers is a novella of 1888 by which writer? Henry James. Henry James. Correct. Finally, the Rachel Papers is the 1973 debut novel of which British author? Martin Amos. Yeah, Martin Amos. Uh, Martin Amos. Correct. Ten points for this. Named after a system of global measurement, which 1714 Act of Parliament established a prize that was eventually won by the joiner and clockmaker John Harrison? Hartford Page. Longitude. The Longitude Act is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses now are on the British exploration of Africa. Known in a local language as the smoke that thunders, the major waterfall on the Zambezi River was given the name Victoria Falls in 1855 by which British explorer? Livingston. 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 Correct. Born in Devon in 1827, which explorer was the first European to declare publicly that Lake Victoria was the source of the Nile. Should we get, should we get Stanley or something? Yeah. Stanley. No, it was John Henning Speak. And earlier in the same expedition, which other Devon-born explorer became, alongside Speak, the first European to reach Lake Tanganyika? Stanley. Stanley again. No, it was Burton. Stanley was Welsh and American. Right, we've got about three minutes to go, and this is a starter question. Renga, Tanka and Waka are among poetic forms primarily associated with which country? Manchester and Tal. Japan. Japan is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on Roman provinces. Named after a Roman province, the Raetian Railway includes the UNESCO-listed Benina Pass Line and is based in which present-day country? So that's like, um, Do you have any I don't know, like Hungary or something, isn't it? Uh, I guess, or maybe Romania. Come on. Uh, Hungary. No, it's Switzerland. The name of which Roman province survives in the name of a plain or basin that covers much of present day Hungary and northern parts of Serbia and Croatia? Um, what Roman province? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> it's Pannonia. 
And finally, associated with the title of an epistle of St Paul, the Roman province of Galatea covers territory in which present-day country? It could be Galicia now. It's a fame. Yeah. Uh, it could be. I don't well, think it might so, be. but why not? Spain. No, it's Turkey. Ten okay. points for this. Born in 1898, which German aircraft designer is perhaps best known for the BF-109? Manchester Antar. Messerschmitt. Messerschmitt is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the 1865 work Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. In each case, identify the character who says the following. Firstly, who asks, why is a raven like a writing desk? March Hare, isn't it? Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's one of those two, I think. Uh, Mad Hatter. It's the Hatter, yes. Who lists the different branches of arithmetic? Ambition, distraction, uglification and derision? Yes, why not? Did you say? Caterpillar. Yeah, okay. Come on. Caterpillar. No, that's the mock turtle. Finally, you must remember or I'll have you executed. The Queen of Hearts. So the Queen of Hearts. It's the King of Hearts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Answer promptly. How many cardinal numbers between two and ten have the same spelling in both Spanish and Italian? Hartford Tudor. Three. Really, you know anyone want to buzz from Manchester? Manchester and Tom. One. No, it's none. <laughs> ten oh. points for this. <laughs> Operation Rosario was the code name of the first military action in which conflict of the... Manchester and Tom. Falklands War. The Falklands War is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on African cities. In each case, I need both the name of the city and its country. The name of which former West African capital city means lakes in Portuguese? Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> Correct. Secondly, which West African capital city is named after the fifth US president? Monrovia, Monrovia, Liberia. Monrovia Liberia. Correct. And finally, the name of which North African capital means three cities in Greek? Tripoli, yeah. Tripoli Libya. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. And that the goal, Hartford College Oxford have 150, Manchester have 185. Well, we've enjoyed having you with us, Hartford College, but uh, you were up against very strong and well-balanced opposition tonight. Manchester, many congratulations to you. We should look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals, I think. I hope you can join us next time for another second-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Hartford College, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Manchester University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.